Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda, and today we're here with Fiddle Pie's old time country music and dance variety show. Mm, that's hey. right. And uh, there's six of you folks, but mm -hmm. uh, the only one with a microphone is Flora. Yep. So we'll talk to Flora, and the rest of you guys yes. will introduce, find out who you are, and Come you can on. just yeah wave around, <laughs> flail your arms. And As we'll usual. But uh, Flora, you've been here before. I have, yes. We've spoken uh, when you were here with uh, the Lonesome Pine special, yes. right? With Aldous Harding and Ben Woolley. That's right. So now you have a new crew. Yes. And it's an international crew. Uh -huh. Why don't you at least introduce everyone? So. Well, um, I found them in various places around the United States and yes. Canada. This is Cornelia Overton. Hi. She is from Smithville, Tennessee. We met in Knoxville, Tennessee, I believe. Uh, this is T. Claw. He's our square dance caller extraordinaire dance teacher. Excellent. He's from Nashville, Tennessee, and we met in um, Louisiana. Lafayette, Louisiana. So you teach uh, square dancing? Yep. Do they? Because when I went to school in Western Pennsylvania, we actually got taught square dancing yep. in elementary school. Do they still do that? Uh, I hear that all the time um, that people still do grade school and middle school square dancing. I actually didn't grow up with it, so. Uh -huh. uh, but it's. I think it still happens sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So I wasn't supposed to talk to you because you don't have a mic on, but I think we will hear it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you anyway. Okay, carry on with your intro. Uh, this is Burdock. He is from Vermont, right. but he lives in um, Southeast Ohio. Oh, great. Is that near like Columbus? Or? I don't know. Do you? Yeah. Have you ever been to Ashtabula? No, okay. <laughs> One of my favorite Bob Dylan lyrics. You're going to miss me when you're gone. He mentions Ashtabula, Ohio. Uh -huh. He rhymes it with Honolulu. Honolulu to Ashtabula. That's pretty, that's pretty clever. If he never wrote another song, that would have been enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Um, this is Ms. Hannah Johnson from Kieseltown, Hi, Virginia. And Hannah and I met in um, Clifftop, West Virginia. That's great. At a string band festival. And on the floor. And on the floor, this is Sean Donald, and he's from Toronto, Canada. Uh, and we met there when I was hanging out with my family in Toronto. You're not making him sit on the floor because he's from Canada, are you? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> that's right. remains to be known. Yeah, right. well, so how did you find all these folks? Uh, I mean, was it uh, like a concerted effort that you're like, I got to put together this group of uh, musicians and... No, I kind of met them all in various little um, places and whatnot. It was a, it was an effort to, you know, put the word out there, but it didn't, for doing something like this, but it didn't take very long, you know. It's just seeing who was really interested in, in doing <laughs> something. a lot of thing. noise today, aren't we? <laughs> we are in Auckland. Yes, it's indeed. like the noisiest place in the world. Yeah, and they're doing construction out the, exactly. the window. They're, I'm pretty sure they're always doing construction here. Yeah, pretty much. But, but is it difficult finding people who can play this type of music? Because this is not, you know, hip-hop um, and rock and roll. This is going way back. It's uh, Appalachian folk yeah. music. It's not, when you guys were warming up, I felt like we were on the set of uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it, it is... Um, Maybe just to your average person, it might be hard to find, but like, if you go and seek it out, you know, then you find all the, the right people in the right spots, you know. Yeah. They you go to various festivals and stuff, and these folks all show up, and if you're looking for people who play old-time fiddle, then you're, you know, making a great effort to do so. Cool. Well, we're going to hear some songs from you guys, and, mm -hmm. and we'll talk uh, some more, but yep. let's get down to some music. Sure. The first tune that we're going to hear is something called Dance All Night with a bottle in your hand, is certainly, that right? Is certainly. that an original tune or is that a traditional No, nope, that's an old, old one pulled out of, I don't know, T. Clore and Skillet Cornelia, liquor. yeah, Skillet Liquors, an old Georgia string band. Oh yeah? But they, you know, some these old tunes are kind of public domain, they don't necessarily know who wrote them right. necessarily. It, it's like but you can uh, pull versions from certain people. A.P. Carter, he just claimed he wrote yeah. everything and he just went around and found them all. Found right? them, yep. Yeah. All right, great, well let's listen to that and we'll come back and talk right. some more.
Okay, we're back with Fiddle Pie. Can I just call you guys Fiddle Pie for yeah. short? Yeah. All right. Uh, we heard Dance All Night with a Bottle in Your Hand. Mm -hmm. You guys have been touring throughout New Zealand already for like a month or so. Mm -hmm. uh, have you got any exciting stories to tell? Uh, what's been going on in the road? Um, well, we have been going for lots of swims. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I mean, we've pretty much done a coastal tour of New Zealand. We went down the South Island, looped back up. Right. Pretty much did a full circle and then now we're here. Yeah. Um, we bought a kind of crappy van that's been blowing a lot of smoke. Excellent. And Keeping that we don't really fit into properly. Keeping New Zealand I, pure, I, are you? Yeah. <laughs> We're keeping that um, clean green kind of image alive. Excellent. Excellent. And what are, what's the been reaction to folks? Have they been coming out and seeing you? Have you been Yeah. I was, I mean, I don't know if I'd say a surprise, but I've been pleasantly kind of overwhelmed by the response. I'd say, you know, I sort of told these guys that um, it might be a bit difficult to get, the Kiwis are a bit reserved, you know? Right, right. It might be a bit difficult to get them really boogieing, but they, you know, as soon as Tikla starts calling square dancers, they're, they're, you know, ready for it. They're dosy doing and, and all that sort of thing. And nothing like a good He's been teaching the Tennessee two-step, <laughs> so people have been learning how to partner dance, waltz and two-step and whatnot. So when they go to see you, it's an audience participation kind Absolutely. of Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, we don't, we don't want to sort of shove it down their throats or anything, but we've been, you know, playing a bit, seeing how they feel, and then doing a bit of dancing and doing a bit of quieter stuff and it's been great. We've been Ooh. playing in a lot of little old halls, yeah. old Cody halls and stuff. So that sounds like a lot of fun and it sounds like the perfect environment for that kind of thing to go on, especially yep. in those tiny little towns. Uh, yeah, that, that, was, that was part of the inspiration, seeing a lot of these old wooden unused community halls that used to be filled with kind of dances cool. every, every weekend for the rural communities. So we're going to hear another song, right? Mm hmm And this one is Curly-Headed Woman. Yeah. What this can you is, tell me about that one? Well, this is one that Hannah brought to the table. Um, she doesn't have a microphone, so she can't tell it to you about it, but I will do my best. All right. Um, she learned it from a recording of Burnett and Rutherford, who are from Kentucky. Yeah. And um, it's, old it's often known, they're old-time guys, yep. They are, this tune is often known as Hesitation Blues. But as they know it, it was Curly Headed Woman. All right. That's a good one. All right. Well, let's give it a listen and we'll get, come back for one more. Yeah. 
All right, we're back with the Fiddle Pies for one last little chat and yeah, one more fun. song. And now you're all or, or burdened with instruments. This is fantastic. Yeah. I was hoping maybe we can just talk a little bit about the instruments. Obviously, the people are going to be most interested in the bass fiddle back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Flora, what can you tell us about it? Because it, yeah, we, it is um, it's our mic. most popular band member. Yeah. It um, <laughs> goes on way more dates than any of us. <laughs> and it was made by our friend Cole, whose name is Frank Soleil. Right, so it was who, made in New Zealand, right? It was made in New Zealand. He's an American fellow, but yep, it's, it was made in New Zealand. I think he made it just for fun. Um, they're, they're a thing though, yep. but you don't see very many of them. Yep. But it it's like kind a of... a bass banjo. Yeah, it's a bass banjo, that's yeah. what we call it. Um, Does it get its own seat on the airplane? Uh, or do you put we it haven't in taken it for any flights yet. Oh, that'll be fun. It's still growing its wings. Yeah. And then you have uh, a myriad of fiddles and banjos mm -hmm. and guitars as this well. This is a guitar. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we metaphorically took this on a flight, uh, Fiddle Pie in the Sky. You know, oh, yeah. We made, yeah. we made a record called In the Sky because yeah. everyone came here on an airplane. Right. So are you, have you been recording while you've been here? <laughs> Not while we've been here. We're going to record at the end of it. But four of us, uh, myself, Sean, Hannah, and T. Claw, we got together in Louisiana at the end of uh, the start of November. Yeah. And we did, we smashed out a, a record and we did them at all kind of live, one or two takes, and we recorded 15 songs. And, nice one. And, about five or six hours or something with a that's, great that's right. fellow called Al Sapp. Is it out yet? Or? Yes, we have it with us and we've, we've made um, little cases for it and Cornelia made a print to, for the back and the front and we've, um, yeah, we've got them at all our shows. Excellent. Well, so folks can still get a chance to see you if they haven't already because mm -hmm. there's still yep. another week or so left and yep. I'll try and get this edited together and up online <laughs> as quickly as possible. Yeah, we're at um, the Auckland Old Folks Association on Saturday, the 13th of February right. with Bernie Griffin and Kristen Warner. Cool. And um, yeah, we'll have our record there. The record's also available on Bandcamp Right. For if you want to do that. It's under the name Fiddle Pie? Yep. All right. And you're going to have one more tune for us. I love the title of this one. Your tears are interest on a loan. Yep, Cornelia is going to sing this one. Cool. And where does the song come from? Uh, we're still trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, for so we sort of did a little bit of research and thought maybe Reno and Smiley, but we haven't actually heard it done okay. by. Right. Well, I haven't. I, Cornelia can't remember where she heard it. Yeah, I heard someone singing it, and I looked up the lyrics. Um, so I don't know who wrote it or who did it originally. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's a great thing about the internet. <laughs> Opens it all up. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, all of you. And I can't wait to hear the last song. And hopefully folks will come out and yeah. see you on your last week and a half or so here in New Zealand. Yeah, it's been fun. All right. Thanks, thank you. Marty. Thanks.